So this piece was originally composed in 1596 and originally for the lute. The original title was called Lacrime Pavan. Lacrime means tears and a pavan is a type of dance. Uh, later on there are words added to it and some think that maybe those words were written by John Dowland himself. All right, so we're in 4-4 four, four time, although when I play this I usually feel it more in 2-2 two, two time, so like almost the half note getting the beat. But we begin measure 1, we have a half bar at 5. We're going to play the 5th, the 3rd, 2nd, and 1st strings. Holds for 2 beats. 1, 2, 3, and then like that. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, and and then open first string for two beats. And then we have this. So eighth fret plus the open fifth. And that's gonna hold for two beats in the bass and in the this note, I'm gonna let it ring for the first two beats into the next measure. So beginning measure two to measure three, you have this. One, two, three, four, one, two. And then it's going to go, and then to here, and then to here. So this is actually just like a D major chord that's been moved up two frets. It's now technically an E major chord. So you hold that for the whole measure, and then uh, on beat three, you're going to add the bass. You got one, two, three, four. All right, so that first line goes like this. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Measure five, half bar at five, just like we had at measure one. After you play that, you're gonna wait two beats and on beat three, open first string. So it's one, two, three, four. Measure six, you have open five followed by open one. And then you have this. So I use three and four there. You can also do two, three, or even one, one, two, one, three, some kind of combination of that. Um, but you've got this, so this is beat three. Keep that third finger down and then hit that first string again for beat four. So measure five and six are gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, now one thing quickly, often I will arpeggiate, I'll roll that chord in measure five and then also in measure one. But you can certainly also play them straight, like that. All right, measure seven, we got this. So first fret plus open four, and then it goes to here. And in that last measure, that line, outer two open straight. And then you can go up to the seventh position, and all that means is your first finger is at the seventh fret, and you're gonna hit that ninth fret with the third finger on the second string, and then first finger on that seventh fret on the first string. So that measure, measure eight, is gonna go one, two, three, four. All right, so that line slowly is gonna go one, two, three, four, one, Now you're gonna to move to the fifth position for measure nine. Pinky is gonna be at the eighth fret plus the open five for two beats, and then you have this. So that measure goes one, two, three, four. Then for the next measure, you're gonna shift down to the fourth position. Pinky will be on that seventh fret for two beats plus the open six, and then down to the fourth fret. So those two measures are gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then I take that first finger, it acts as a guide finger, and I move it up to the fifth fret, and I put that middle finger on the sixth fret, second string. And you play those at the same time. And then on beat two, you're gonna to go to the eighth fret. So one, two. Now this is a dotted quarter note, so it's a beat and a half. So it's gonna go one, two, three, and. So the and of three 
you hit that note right there. So again, one, two, three, and, and then beat four is back to this note right here. So that measure goes like this, one, two, three, and one. And then you move that back down to the fourth fret, plus the open sixth string. And then you're gonna go here. So both fingers are at the eighth fret. It's just first string and then also sixth string, like that. So that's two beats. So that measure, so that line, beginning at measure nine goes, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. All right, measure 13. Slowly it's gonna go like this. So open four plus seventh fret. And then to here. And then keeping that finger down, you're gonna go like that. So slowly it's gonna go one, two, three, four. Measure 14, open six. I do keep this down still for that first beat. And then you're gonna go to the second position. So fourth fret to the second fret, back to the fourth fret. So those two measures in rhythm are gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. So how about again? One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. All right, the last two measures, there are three sections in this piece, and at the very end, the last two measures of each section are, are a cadence, and so often I will play this kind of freely. And this one ends with a what's called a Picardy third. We are actually in the key of A minor, but that chord, that last chord of that line is an A major chord. So a Picardy refers to when you raise a minor chord, so to a major chord, like that. At, it usually happens at the end of a piece. You hear that a lot, for example, in the music of Bach. If it's in minor, um, the piece will be in minor, and then the very last chord, it's a major chord. All right, so those two measures are going to go. So you start here. It's a dotted quarter note, so it's one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three. So again, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three. So often I'll play it like this. So I kind of speed up and then slow down again. Measure 17, we are going to do a, I cover just the first two strings at the eighth fret, then I add this finger right here. So I play those three notes, and that's gonna be for three beats. One, two, three, and then I shift to the fifth position, but I use my third finger on that seventh fret. So you got one, two, three, four. Then I do a half bar at five. I hit the third and the first strings, and then my pinky goes here, which is gonna be the eighth fret on that second string. So it's. And then it goes to the eighth fret on the first string. So with the rhythm, it's gonna go one, two, three, four. So then if you take a look at measure 19, I do keep that pinky down. You can go open four, second beat, like that, so two and, and then beat three, four. So those two measures slowly are gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. So a little faster. And if you take a look at measure 20, we're back to this chord, which we had in measure 17. And then you hit on beat three, beat three, you're gonna hit that second string. So it's one, two, three, four. So that line slowly is gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four. Measure 21, open five, that's beat one. Beat two is here, fifth fret. 
Beat three is open six. And then beat four is right there. So you're just going back and forth. So it goes one, two, three, four. And then for beat one of measure 22, you go back to the fifth fret. So open five plus that. And then down to the first fret for beat two, open, and then you're gonna go right there. So fourth fret on that fifth string. So that measure 22 is gonna go one, two, three, four. Next measure, open. And then you got third finger here, beat two, beat three, open four. And then next measure you have this, third fret, second beat is here, first fret on the first string. And then I go up to that fifth fret and then pinky is gonna get this. So this is eighth fret on the fifth string. Now what's happening here is you have a distinct melody and bass line. The, the bass line is kind of moving up along with the melody. So I'll play that line slowly and listen for, and listen for how the bass and the melody interact. Take a look at measure 25, it finishes that bass line thought. We were here, you're gonna go there. And then second beat is fifth fret, and then pinky goes up to the eighth fret. So that measure 25 is gonna go like this. Measure 26, we've got that sixth string, and I'm on the eighth fret. Third finger is gonna go on that eighth fret on the second string. So you've got beat one, beat two, and then I let go of this and I go to here. So it's open three plus seventh fret on the first string. So you've got this slowly. So again. Now that's a dotted quarter note, so it's gonna be a beat and a half. So that starts at beat three and it goes through the first part of beat four before the second part of beat four, you have that note right there. So with the rhythm, it's gonna go one, two, three, four, so again, one, two, three, four, and, and then we go up to the 10th fret, and then open four, open four again, and then down to that third fret on the second string. So that measure, measure 27 is gonna go one, two, three, four. In the last measure of that line, first fret, it's gonna be a dotted quarter note, so it's one, two, and, like this. So one, two, and, and then you go up to that fifth fret for beat three and four. So one, two, and three, and on beat four, open five. So again, one, two, and three, four. All right, that line's gonna go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. All right, measure 29, open five. We ended up in the fifth position, so then the pinky is just gonna hit that eighth fret. So that pinky is just gonna hit the eighth fret on beat two, and then down to the seventh fret on beat four. So it's one, two, three, four. Measure 30. So in the melody, you have a dotted quarter note. So if we ignore the bass line, it's gonna go one, two, and three, and four. So again, one, two, and three, and four. Now that, mel that bass note comes in on beat two. So you're gonna go one, two, and three, and four. So again, one, two, and three, and four. Now we have another little cadence like we did in the first section and it's gonna end on this chord, which we've had. It's just an E major chord. The previous measure, I end up sort of in this position right here. So I just put my first finger on that fourth fret on the first string plus open six. One, two, and three, and four, and. So again, one, two, and three, and four, and. and then we have that open six. And again, I'll play that kind of, I'll play that freely. So I might go, 
kind of speed up and then slow down a little bit. All right, measure 33. So we're gonna start at the fourth fret. We're gonna start in the fourth position with our first finger there. So you get that plus the open six. This note right here comes in on beat four. So you've got one, two, three, four. So again, one, two, three, four. Pinky on the seventh fret, open six. And then you just move this up. And then I use my second finger and get that seventh fret on the fourth string. So slowly that measure is gonna go one, two, three, four. A little faster. One, two, three, four. All right, third finger plus open third string. And then here. And then I do a half bar. I hit the third and the first string. My half bar is at the fifth fret. And then this finger goes in that third string on that seventh fret. So, so slowly that measure is going to go one, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. A little faster. All right, and then that last measure of that line, we got the outer opens. Uh, third beat, it's going to be that fourth fret. So that play, I'll play that line. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so measure 37, half bar of five. We've had this chord. You hold that for three counts. One, two, three, four, eighth fret. And then I let go of the bar and I go seventh fret, first string plus open third string back to there and then these two fingers are going to go right there so it's so those two measures are going to go one two three four one two three four this chord we've had this before hold it for three counts one two three and you go down to here second fret on the fifth string open sixth string for two beats open third, and then second fret on that fifth string. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. All right, that line goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Measure 41. So one, two, three, four, open first string. One, two, three, four, one, and then open second string. And then pinky will go that third fret on the second string. So you've got this. So those two measures beginning at 41 are gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, Next measure, open five, second fret, and then first fret. So it's one, two, three, four, and then you have this. So I'm going third fret on the sixth string plus the open second, and then I go to here. So first finger is at that first fret on the sixth string, middle finger is on that second fret on the third string. So it's those are half notes, so they're gonna be two beats. So you've got this one, two, three, four. So beginning at measure 41, we have this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then measure 45. Measure 45, we have this. So it's first fret on that third string plus the open six. And then we're gonna come up to here. So that's eighth fret plus open third. Those are both half notes. So it's one, two, three, four. Measure 46. Like this, open four plus seventh fret. Beat two. And then beat three and four, you just add this finger right there. So it's one, two, three, four. Measure 45 and 46. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
All right, measure 47, open sixth string. Beat two is this. So it's fourth fret, first fret, they're eighth notes. So it's one, two, and three, four. So that measure, one, two, and three, four. All right, the last two measures, we have another cadence, and it's another use of the Picardy third. Because again, this, this is in the key of A minor but we end with an A major chord. So it's. So you may have gotten a sense of deja vu with that, those two measures because it's basically the same thing as what we had earlier. The only difference is um, the, earl the earlier version ended on this chord. And now the final chord of the piece with this. So it's a half bar at five, and then my middle finger is at that sixth fret on the third string. That creates that major sound. So here's minor, here's major. So slowly those two measures are gonna go. And especially since this is the last cadence of the, the piece, I would probably exaggerate it even more than what I did the first time. So I might go. Something like that.